and we're here at Chavez Park where more people are starting to make their way here to vote. They're using that lunch break to come out and vote. But I can tell you there is a bit of concern as it relates to voter turnout. I know it's early, but that is something that we're hearing from those voters who are making their way out here. And if early voting numbers are an indication of what to expect, those concerns are valid. Close to 700,000 early voters, which is down from 2020, and represents only 10 percent of eligible voters. And according to state numbers in the last presidential primary election in 2020, the voter turnout was 31 percent compared to the general election that same year, which had a 74 percent voter turnout. Now, the voters who are showing up today are tuned in to some of those key issues, inflation, the economy, education, and the current political climate locally and nationally. Those are some of the driving factors for those voters I met today. Take a listen. People still, they keep voting and things keep being the same. And that's what's depressing so many people. If I don't go and vote and try to at least help myself, and if I don't help myself, at least I'm going to help my children that's coming along, or my grandkids that's coming along. You have a voice because if we didn't have a voice, they wouldn't be trying to suppress our votes. So get out and please vote. So another big issue that I'm noticing here, folks are not going to their assigned polling location. So you can find that information by visiting the State Board of Elections website.